Hello again. Uh, today we're going to do an auto world. And this is actually a Johnny Lightning, but this is what inspired me to get the auto world that you're going to see next. This is a 1969 Chevy Kingswood here. This is old, new old stock, I guess, because this thing's totally dried out, the glue. And uh, we'll save this blister here. I like this green and the wood paneling, so I decided to get this color variation. Save this for later. It says 2013 down there at the bottom for the uh, licensing there. Hopefully you can see that, but yeah, okay. So I've spoken about the, the Kingswood before, but as a reminder, uh, this is a second generation Kingswood, top of the line station wagon by Chevy at the time. Uh, it's, this second generation spanned between 1969 to 1973, and it was based off the full-size Impala. And they were only V8 powered, between 5.7 liters up to 7.4 liters. So quite a behemoth. Okay, and it's got this wood paneling on and all that stuff, so I think that's pretty neat. Okay, I think it looks like those photographs, I don't know. So this is a nice metallic green. It's not as dark as in those photographs, but maybe this was a real green that they did offer. What I'm not really a fan of is this wood paneling. That's not wood paneling, you know. That's just a brown graphic. So it's unfortunate that uh, it doesn't look so hot, but also look at this giant dent in this casting. That's not cool. That is horrible. Okay, uh, some weird casting issues there. This is nice. It says Kingswood Estate there. There's a little red in that reflector. Kind of messy. Sticking out for the door handles and the little lock there. It's painted silver. Silver on all the window trim. This one's got glass. I don't like that, but this one doesn't, so that's nice. So you can see the interior and all that stuff. Let me get the flashlight. Standard molded details you get in a premium model, I guess. Or anything more than a Hot Wheels. Oh, safety belts. Interesting. Yeah, pretty cool actually. I like that. Back seats. Yeah, more safety belts. Ribbing. Oh, there's a back. There's a third row facing backwards. And there's a post there in the back there. Okay. Well, I did not expect that third row, so that's kind of neat. But it is a full-size wagon, so... Uh, going to the top, there's no indication of uh, wiper blades. I don't know if they're hidden on the real one. Some uh, recesses here for the ribs, venting. There's no paint though. Pretty big panel gaps, not a fan of those. Ribbing on the roof looks good. The roof rack looks good. It's uh, silver painted plastic. And, and the front end looks really cool. Very mean looking. You know, the headlights are hidden behind some doors that move up. So the grill texture is very nice. It's dimensional and it's black inside the recesses. The Chevy badge isn't very well defined. It doesn't look like a Chevy bow tie. It's nice to see that there's a license plate here, and then more texture there. Paint for the turn signals look good. Looks good. At least this hood closes nicely. And then uh, I'm now noticing, I think it says Chevrolet. Yeah, it's printed in individual letters across the uh, hood, so that's pretty nice. Really small. Almost missed it. Well, I'm sure some of you guys might want to see this engine, so I can get some sticky tack here. There we go. Actually, that opened pretty easily. Very easily. So, it was nice that the hood actually opens a lot, so you can see a lame engine. <laughs> that's that's not a great engine. I'm not, not liking that one so much. Okay. Yeah, alright. Okay, this side. Yeah, that brown could be nicer. It would be nice if there's a graphic on top of it for, with the wood grain. And then, yeah, a lot of painting issues. Something wrong there, missing paint there, some overrun there. All right, so missing paint there. Fuel filler door on this side. Interesting spot, it's so high up and it crosses this plane, I think. All right, uh, the tires do look all right. They don't look like truck tires and the wheels are pretty nice. There's actually, a, the Chevy bow tie on the wheel is better than in the grill. Although it's, it's not, interesting that's a hollow bow tie. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. 
On the back, we have uh, the lock there. I'm sure that says Chevrolet, maybe. It's hard to see silver on metallic green. Yeah, it's just not legible. It's, it's, a, it's really blurry. Tail lights are okay. You know, at least on that one, you got silver, red, and white. That's pretty hard. This one's a little messy. I think the casting again is messed up. Molded in bumpers, painted silver, nice license plate. And then, what's that then? Uh, tow hook area? Oh, maybe it's a step to get to the, the roof rack, maybe? This is uh, closed off as well. I think it'd be cooler if it actually just was open. Alright, uh, and then uh, the bottom, unfortunately, Auto World doesn't care to tell you what the model is. So I put stickers on mine after the fact. The exhausts are molded in, metal base riveted together. Wait, tires look good, period correct. They look what the proper width as well, so that's nice. And then, yeah, these things roll. It's quite a heavy model, of course, being metal and metal. All right, well, let's take a look at a couple other wagons then. Bring back the good old Kingswood. Actually, how old is this? It's a 2013, right? Let me just double check here. No, see, this one is, is printed 2014. The card said 2013. Still pretty old, right? Eight years old now. And so, oh, look at this. It actually says what the car is. Usually they don't. So this is nice, although it's so small. You need a phone and magnification to read it. I'll probably still put a sticker on this. But uh, what I like about this Johnny Lightning version of the casting is how they printed on the black on top of the wood. It's missing some white here, so this side isn't very good, but this side is good. See? It, it looks like driftwood, hence for the, the text there. So it would have been nice if, you know, they did this kind of printing on that one. But maybe back in 2014, this is a new casting or close to new, and they knew people would buy it. But now that it's 2021, right? They're like, ah, oh, I'm sick of that old casting. We've got to do extra work to get people to buy it. In this case, putting the blower in there as well. This is so ridiculous. Die cast them. This is your fault. Watching your videos. It is very funny. I like it. This one has plastic wheels. But I actually like that too. Because I've had some rubber wheels crack from age. So I don't mind plastic wheels. Alright. Let's, let's maybe put some more realistic looking wagons up. So I guess... Uh, we got a 64 Country Squire by Auto World. Uh, we have this 57 Nomad by Muscle Machines. It's one of these uh, Jesse James lowrider type of things. And then we have this Patina Suburban. It's kind of, it's not really a station wagon, but same purpose. Just easier to see down the road. And I guess that'll do for today. So they're all pretty big vehicles. Yeah. I think these are all top of the line vehicles as well for their time. I think this is the top of the line Ford uh, wagon. Top of the line Chevy. And this is top of the line Chevy back in 57, the Nomad. And top of the line SUV, right? So that'll explain it. So this is a great giant wagon. I love it. I kind of feel like I had a friend that had one of these. He had a yellow one. Or he had one of these giant behemoth wagons. Uh, I, it was decades ago though, so I don't remember if it was a Kingswood or not. But it was yellow, and I remember it was absolutely huge. Okay, well anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, get some more Auto World videos out there. See ya.